What will this storm do to natural gas? Well, first of all, you know, we kind of did play this down a little bit late yesterday afternoon uh, with two feet or so in Boston, but not much more than a foot in New York City. But that doesn't really uh, affect the market that much. Uh, natural gas is actually up today because we're seeing more colder storms uh, on the way about 5, 10, 15 days from now. So with a net <laughs> short position in the market right now, the speculators heavily short the market. Right. I think we're going to see that reverse and we'll, we'll see higher prices. Do professionals trade a blizzard? You know, if they do, they're making mistakes because usually uh, it's a very short-lived uh, effect on the commodity market. Sometimes it has more effect in equities. For example, uh, Generec, which is a generating company, uh, you know, people buy generators to, to heat their homes when power goes out. That's up 5% since yesterday, whereas a lot of the energy markets actually were down. The one thing that you can do during a blizzard, if you see two or three in a row, is buy heating oil and sell crude or buy heating oil and sell gasoline as people drive less. So that's one spring that probably will work over the next couple weeks. And you, and you wrote us in an email last night, Jim, that, uh, that you want to take another look at utility stocks. And basically, that's the old, it's the old trick of buying on the rumor, selling on the reality. The reality here today is very different from the rumor yesterday. That's exactly right. You know, and unless you have a winter like last year, we had, you know, five snowstorms and 80 inches of snow in the, in the east and three months of incredible cold weather that did affect the economy in, you know, fourth quarter and first quarter uh, 2000. Uh, um, 15 uh, GDP or 14 GDP, you're not going to see anything that, other than a very short-term reaction. So we got to look at a longer-term trend. Where can we find that right now? Possibly in the natural gas market. We're at historical low levels currently. We have cold weather that I think will persist off and on through March, and uh, the market's very oversold. Right. And I think we'll begin to see a rally. Jim, I would have assumed that the utility companies have some kind of insurance against natural uh, events. No. Yeah, many of them do. Uh, many of them, you know, buy insurance policies through Lloyd's. You know, the, the biggest uh, effect ever that I, I saw, I think, in the bond market and also utility stocks before many companies had uh, reinsurance was during Hurricane Andrew back in 1992, which, you know, wiped out Florida and the Gulf Coast. It was actually even more of an impact in the commodity market than Katrina was uh, in some fashion. All right, Jim Romer, thank you so much for joining us there. Uh, Jim Romer, who covers the commodity market.